Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting going right away here for our third and final duel of the night. We once again started with the, the bigger fellas. Starting at 220, Nathan Stibbs with the forfeit victory. The winner at forfeit, 106 pounds from Germantown, Callum Becker. So to hear the announcer, Miami Falls, forfeiting the first three matches at 220, 285, and 106 as Kellen Becker gets the 106 forfeit victory. So we will move right to 113. Winner by forfeit, 113 pounds from Miami Falls, Declan Rystad. So, one more forfeit at 113. Menominee Falls getting on the board with six points as Declan Reichstead gets an easy one tonight for him. Now we are up to 120. Looks like we will have a match at 120 here. Wrestling. Our match at 120 pounds from Germantown, Ryan Lesnick. Menominee Falls, Izzy Evich. Ryan Lesnick taking the mat for Germantown at 120. Izzy Evich taking it for Menominee Falls. Lesnick right in with the takedown on Evich. Lesnick, Lesnick with a cut and release and another quick takedown on Evich. Third straight cut and release for Lesnick, but it looks like Lesnick might be deciding to stop his cut path at this point in time. Two more near fall points as Lesnick is quickly out to an eight to two lead over Evich. We are out of bounds. Evich will start down. Lesnick up. 115 remaining. Once again, Lesnick on top, eight to two over Izzy Evich here for Menominee Falls. Lesnick trying to stretch Evich out here and find an opportunity to land a cradle. And almost had one there. Evich able to get her hand in. That cross face comes in hard. And Lesnick able to get Evich rolled over. And Lesnick finishes the 115 mark here in the first period. Add six more to the score for Germantown. So now as we move to 126, Germantown leads Menominee Falls 24 to six. At 126 pounds for Germantown, Braxton Sievers. Menominee Falls, Nate Taylor. Braxton Sievert for Germantown at 126. And Nate Taylor in for Menominee Falls at 126. Let's see if Sievert's still winded from his previous match. He had a full six minute match, a lot of activity not too long ago in the Sussex Hamilton duel. See if Taylor can take advantage of that at all. He's had a little rest period since his first match against Sussex Hamilton. Taylor in on the leg. Taylor with the two points on the takedown. Taylor with a quick roll, but no points available there. Lots of time. All right, off the road, 
Taylor spins around, takes full back control. Trying to get Sievert wrapped up, trying to trying to find a way into a cradle. Sievert's got that elbow underneath. Don't think it's gonna happen there. Taylor though did get two back points out of that. Referee will reset them. Sievert will start down. Taylor up. Taylor currently leading 4-0 here for the falls. Sievert trying to stand up. Taylor trying to break him down. Sievert does get his escape though now, getting on the scoreboard. Taylor is going to lead 4-1. First period in the books, Taylor leading Sievert 4-1 for the Falls. Sievert will start down. Taylor needs to be ready as Sievert was able to pop up and escape immediately last time that they went into that start position, but Taylor does a better job of maintaining here. Taylor again, ride Seaver to the edge. Gets underneath, cross face, grabs that arm and pulls it through. Taylor trying to pull Seaver together, but can't quite do it. So now we'll see if Seaver can find the energy to stand up here. Taylor seems to be losing grip a little bit. But he does have that leg strapped in there, so. Taylor does have the cradle locked in. Was able to roll Sievert for a second, but not quite enough leverage there to make it happen. Did pull two points out of it though for back points. Taylor extends his lead to six to one. Again, tries to roll Sievert over, but Sievert able to roll through. Taylor able to maintain control. Taylor cuts Sievert loose, back to neutral. Taylor with a really Small closed up approach stance there. Taylor trying to get quick from points here at the end, but he is not gonna. Not gonna get through on that one. So, two periods in the books. Moving to the third. Nate Taylor for Menominee Falls leads. Braxton Sievert, 6-2 as we head into the third, and we will start neutral. Sievert tries for a throw. Oh, he's able to trip Taylor up. Taylor finds himself in a Difficult position, but gets himself to his stomach. Sievert pulls within 6-4, and then is awarded three back points. Sievert jumps to a 7-6 lead here, the minute and a half remaining in this 126 bout. Taylor trying to stand up. Taylor stands and is able to get in the face of Sievert. Gets his reverse, takes the lead back, 8-7. And with the pin, Taylor finishing that one off nicely over Sievert. You're going to win a by Falls, 126 pounds, from Rami Falls, Nate Taylor. Nate Taylor 
with a nice victory over Siebert on that one. Move on to 132. Sam Strangfeld will be taking the mat for Menominee Falls. Your match at 132 pounds from Germantown, Jason Howard. Jason Howard. Sam Strangfeld. And Howard taking the mat at 132 for Germantown. Both junior wrestlers. Power quickly on to Strangfeld with the takedown. Into the ride position. Has those arms trying to get in there and dig in. Is Hauer. Power gets Strangfeld turned. Strangfeld able to nicely bridge through. Almost made the escape, but Power able to jump back on and take control again. Strangfeld trying to get to his feet. Not quite enough juice there for that run. Howard continues to attack on as he's now up to 6-0 after those two near full points. Strangfeld gets the escape. Howard shoots in right away, grabs the legs, and gets the takedown. Extend his lead now to 8-1. to one. Short time, almost 10 seconds remaining. I think this is where we'll end the first period with Jason Heller with an eight to one lead over Sam Strangfeld from Menominee Falls. Second period, Strangfeld will start down in this 132 match. Quick sit through there for Strangfeld for the escape. Howard, though, is right back on him, gets that ankle, gets that leg, gets the two points. With the takedown, Howard gets strength. Gets strength in the cradle and is able to complete it for the fall. 132 remaining in the second. Jason Howard with the pin. Extending Germantown's lead to 30 to 12. Our match at 130 pounds from Germantown, Reese Thornberry. From Menominee Falls, Beckham Stout. 138 is now coming onto the mat. Reese Thornberry for Germantown, Beckham Stout for Menominee Falls. And we are underway. Thornberry with the takedown. Both wrestlers working hard over on the far side of the mat from us. Douse, just non able to. Oh, Thornberry. Thornberry with the pin. Thornberry just turned Stouse there and quickly got him into a bad position. Stouse unable to come up with any sort of a defense there. And the 138 victory for Reese Thornberry with a first period pin. Moves on to 
145. Let's see who Germantown pulls to the mat this time. Last match against Sussex Hamilton, it was Eli Rabideau. Beckham Stouse this is just at 138, so that means Karsten Reese should be here for Menominee Falls. Here's 145 pounds for Germantown, Eli Rabideau. For Menominee Falls, Karsten Reese. Yep, so that is the two we'll have. So Eli Rabideau for Germantown at 145 and Karsten Reese for Menominee Falls. Reese attempts a shot, Rabido able to defend and get some leverage on that head. And we are out, so we will restart neutral. Rabido with a little half shot there, goes to his knees, but nothing being, so he pops back out. Reese in on the head. Rabideau able to scramble across and take the back position for the takedown in the first two points of this one. Rabideau now trying to use that arm to get Carson Reese over. Getting some back points, but doesn't look like he's going to get Reese quite yet. He's able to slide that arm free. Forty seconds remaining. Eli Rabido looking to extend this. Currently has three back points locked in. Oh, able to just manhandle Reese there, put him into the cradle, lift him up and over. And the second shoulder blade goes down. Eli Rabideau completes the pin. First period against Karsten Reese in the 145 pound match. Extending Germantown's lead to 42 to 12. We now move on to the 152 match. See Tyler Wallinger from Miami Falls and Talon Schutte for Germantown. with the initial takedown. Playing the, Shooty appears to be playing the catch and release game here with, uh, with Wallinger. Currently up 6-3 after three takedowns and two, three cuts. This time he'll run with it. Quickly rolls Wallinger over. Adds three for a near fall on that one. Shooty continues to press. And gets the shoulders down there on Wallinger. Your winner by fall at 152 pounds from Germantown, Talon Shooty. Talon Shooty with another victory by fall for the Warhawks in this duel at 152. Moving the score up to 48 to 12. Now we'll move on to the 160 match. Your match at 160 pounds from Germantown, Kenny Roberts. From Menominee Falls, Clayton Liner. Germantown represented by Kenny Roberts for this 160 match. 
Clayton Langer for the Falls. A lot of hand fighting early on from these two. So they now lock up. Lock up high. Not a lot of movement, but Robert's able to get a bit of a head throw there on Langer. Roberts with the first two points with the takedown as he gets the back there against Langer. Langer trying to pull himself out to reset and restart. He's able to, so he will start down. Trailing behind Roberts here 2-0 in the first period. 53 seconds remaining in this match. In this, sorry, in this period of this first period of this match. Roberts trying to maintain that control on Langer. See. Pulling him back over. Langer able to roll through that one. Did give up a couple points on it, but able to protect himself and roll all the way through. the end of the first period. Your score, Kenny Roberts, four. Clayton Langer, zero. Langer defers. Roberts chooses the down position. And we are off here with the second period. Roberts trying to sit out of this one. Langer trying to get aggressive and trying to push Roberts over, but Roberts able to turn and face and drive Langer back over. And now Langer finds himself fighting for his life as Roberts trying to earn some back points after the reversal. Referee holding three more points that will extend the Lead to 9-0 for Roberts here in the second period with just over a minute remaining. Langer's got to try to find a way to get out of this to score some points or make something even more astonishing happen. May have an opportunity to back out here if he could just be aware of how high Roberts is on him right now. There, Robert settles his hips back in a little bit more to help balance that weight off, but. Langer with the reverse. Langer trying to make something happen here in the last 13 seconds. And Langer with a few signs of life there at the end of the second period. Still trailing 11-2 here to Kenny Roberts. Langer's starting down for this third period. 
Roberts. Up. Langer's got to take advantage of this. Roberts is way, way, way too high in this position. But he's able to settle back in. Keep Langer under control. Roberts with another near fall three points being held. That'll extend this to 14 to two. If he can find his way to another three points and a near fall, he will tech fall this one. Langer sits back on Roberts. Trying to turn into him. Baron Langer reverses again. See if he can do something with this. His only option is a fall at this point in time. There's no way to make up 10 points in the last 30 seconds. Safety, st safety stop here by the referees as that shoulder was getting leveraged a little too hard for what anybody likes to see. Langer's got to get, got to get an arm up in there so he can run something here. He's got to try to get Roberts to his back and really work this. Technical violation there on Langer. So he got his hands up into the headgear for, for Roberts. Langer trying to make something happen here, but sub 10 seconds. This is Roberts can just turtle up and be okay with this one. Langer made an effort there at the end, but it was not enough to overcome the differential he had. Kenny Roberts wins that 160 match. 15 to four, final score. We'll get another forfeit here at 170. Aiden Brookbacher gets the forfeiture win. And we move to 182. Jordan Blackman coming for Menominee Falls. At 182 pounds for Germantown, Ethan Riddle. For Menominee Falls, Jordan Blackman. Ethan Riddle taking the mat for Germantown at 182. Blackburn's initial shot, but Riddle able to fight it through and get to the back and take control. He cuts Blackman. Blackburn right back to the shot. Riddle again, takedown and cuts him. Riddle likes this one. Well, maybe not. He's going to cut Blackburn again. So 6-2 after... Now 8-3 after four takedowns and three releases. Penalty point there for... Blackman as he gets a little aggressive.
Real again with another takedown. Runs it to 13 to three now here in the first period. Still almost 40, about 45 seconds remaining. Riddle with a little extra shove there to let Blackman know that when he was being cut loose. 15-4 now for Riddle. Riddle now with another takedown, takes this to a 17 to five lead. So two minutes gone, Ethan Riddle leading 17 to five here, and Jordan Blackman. A lot of activity in that one, as there were about seven takedowns, I think it was, for Riddle. Here we are back into it, as it's now 19 to six after that takedown and release. And with that takedown, final score of the match, 21 to six. Ethan Riddle winning by tech fall. <clears throat> We move to 195. Should be our last match. Our final match at 195 pounds for Germantown, Alex Buda. For nine pounds, Josh Francis. Josh Francis coming to the mat for Menominee Falls at the 195. Alex Pluta out there for Germantown. Pluta and Francis will be our final match of the evening here in this triangular. Menominee Falls trying to get a few more points. Pluta and Francis, a lot of hand fighting. Francis with a shot attempt. Pluta able to pull the leg away. Francis goes again. Pluta responds with a nice sprawl. But nothing comes of it from either side. Just looking for an opportunity. Pluto seems to be waiting for Francis to make that move. Both lock up high. And neither with good position to be able to make a throw happen. Pluto a little half shot. Nothing happens, Francis responds. Pluto is able to get to the back, get the takedown points, but Francis is able to release, get the escape. Coming up a short time here. 15 seconds remaining here in the first period. A lot of flash, not a lot of bang from either of them. As most, of the most of the shot attempts didn't land and were aborted. So, one period in the books. Pluto leading two to one over Josh Francis. Germantown wins the flip. Pluto chooses the down position, so Francis will be up. Francis high on the back with Pluto. Pluto able to stand up. Francis not able to get the leg hooks in, but Able to get his feet back on the mat and use that leverage to pull Pluto down. Yes. 
Francis with the escape. After I put Kuda with the escape. And now we're back to neutral as Francis trails Pluto three to one. About a minute and a half remaining here in the second period. Francis with a nice takedown. Immediate back control. So he takes Pluto up and over on that one. Now the question is, is can he do work with Pluto down in this position? We're all tied at three. A minute left here in the second period. Francis getting that leg hooked in, trying to keep that control on Pluta. Pluta is high. You can hear the German town coaches telling the wrestler, and they are absolutely right. Pluta was way too high, and Pluta able to just back out of that one. Pluta starting to work the head. Trying to snap some things down, see if he can get Francis moving. Pluto leading 4-3 at this point in time with 20 seconds remaining here in the second period. Francis again with a nifty little move to take Pluto down. Taking the lead at 5-4. After two in the books, Josh Francis leading Alexander Pluto 5 4 in the 195 final match of the evening. Francis and Pluto back up to neutral position. Both again looking. Francis has had some luck with some leverage throws. Pluta responding to shots like this at Francis. Francis has good control of that leg though. He's able to trip Pluta and take him down. Francis extends to seven to four now after that takedown. Pluta again high, Francis. Sorry, Pluto able to stand up. Francis a little too high on that one again. Now we're at 7-5. Josh Francis leading Alexander Pluto. Francis able to get inside a little bit, but Pluto able to react. Another one of those tosses. Another takedown for Francis. Back out to a four point lead as it's 9 5 now with 40 seconds remaining. Francis needs to keep this control. Francis sliding up, don't want to get too high. Although at this point in time, oh. Maybe worst case scenario, two point reversal there for. For Pluta, as he's working to get Francis rolled over to try to bring this in. Sub 10 seconds. Can Francis stay on his stomach? Stay in control? Francis upright. Oh, Francis with another throw and the victory. What a match to end the night. Wow. Pluta down. Hopefully, it's frustration more than injury. Gosh, Francis using those arm throws. Pluto with a little trouble standing up, but he was tossed around pretty good there at the end. So that victory by Pluto brings our final dual meet score to Germantown 63, Menominee Falls 15. Upside for Menominee Falls with a victory at the end there, but it was a, a rough evening for the hosts as they go 0-2 on the night after losses to this Germantown club and Sussex Hamilton earlier. Nice hand there for Pluta as he gets himself up off the mat. Germantown, though, able to go 2-2 two and two on the night. 2-0 and oh on the night with victories over Sussex Hamilton and Menominee Falls, convincing victories over both. So I hope you enjoyed yourselves tonight. I know we did. 
We are Falls Cable Access, coming to you from Menominee Falls High School. I'm Marlon Hestetun. Find us on Spectrum Channel 14 or on YouTube or on our website. You can find replays and rebroadcasts of all of our events that we do there. Hope you enjoyed yourself as we are at Menominee Falls High School for a Greater Metro Conference Triangular between the visiting Germantown Warhawks, Sussex Hamilton Chargers, and the host Menominee Falls Phoenix. Thanks for joining us tonight, folks, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good night.